Top Squat. Come. Min at ya. Hey, everybody. Uh, we're going to listen to a song by BTS today. This is something I have never done. Uh, I am aware of BTS. Uh, I... That's it. I know they exist. They're a band from Korea. They make pop music. Uh, it's apparently hip-hop music, as they are listed as contributing to the genres of K-pop, pop, hip-hop, R&B, and EDM. They've been around since 2013, which I hadn't realized. And, uh, yeah, they're, they've gotten quite popular here in the States, and I assume it's a number of reasons. I assume they make good music, which kind of has always been the case with really popular boy bands, and that's exactly what this is, is another boy band. Packaged, I'm sure, by some multi-millionaire who decided they needed to make even more money by getting together a bunch of talented young people and exploiting them to uh, do just that and hopefully make them rich at the same time, but probably ruining their lives, and uh, who knows? It's always exciting to see how these bands turn out. Um, let's... Uh, Get some information here about BTS. Uh, also known as the Bangtan Boys. That must be where BTS comes from. I actually kind of wondered if it was supposed to be like Beats. And that was their... That was kind of... Kind of made sense to me. But uh, Bangtan Boys. Seoul... Uh, sorry, not Seoul. South Korean boy band that was formed in 2010 and debuted in 2013 under Big Hit Entertainment. The Septet... That means there's seven of them. Consisting of members Jin, Suga, or Suga. I'm not sure if it's pronounced the way I would pronounce uh, Sugar or not. S-U-G-A. Somebody tell me, is it Suga? Uh, J-Hope, R-M, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. Uh, the Septet co-writes and co-produces much of their own output. Okay, now I'm way more impressed. I thought they were just voices, uh, which is also fine. Voices, dancers, that sort of thing, but it sounds like they actually make their music, which, uh, great. Originally a hip-hop group, their musical style has evolved to include a wide range of genres. Their lyrics often focus on personal or social commentary and touch on the themes of mental health, troubles of school-aged youth, and coming-of-age loss, the journey toward loving oneself and individualism. Their work also often references literature and psychological concepts and includes an alternative universe storyline. Oh, that's cool. Uh, they've come out with a number of different albums. Uh, it's apparently just the seven of them. They, I had expected a much more normal boy band sort of thing, like maybe some people had rotated out over time. Uh, Menudo is like the really old group that's done that for years and years and years and years and years. Decades, I think, at this point. Um, they definitely have gotten popular here in the States. We're going to listen to a song called Black Swan. That's a song from their fourth Korean language studio album, Map of the Soul 7, from 2020. So this might get blocked if you don't see it for a few days. Uh, the song was written by RM, August Rigo, Vince Nantes, Clyde Kelly, and P-Dog, with the latter of the five also handling production. So P-Dog did the production. Uh, it was released in January of 2020 as the first single by Big Hit Entertainment. What? As the first single by Big Hit Entertainment as a countdown to the album. Okay, musically it was described as an emo hip-hop song featuring cloud rap and trap drum beats. The song uses lo-fi style guitar instrumentation and contains a catchy hook. The lyrics are introspective and BTS... Uh, what, what? And find BTS confessing as artists, the fear of losing their passion for music. Uh, interesting. So I'm not going to read the rest of this. If you would like to read more of it, please do go ahead. The myth song is apparently 3 minutes and 18 seconds long. Uh, this video that I have here, which I think is the official, is a little longer than that because it's got this weird little intro in the beginning, probably because of big hit music. Uh, but let's jump in. 3 minutes, 37 seconds. I actually... I'm expecting this to be like choreographed dancing, every member of the group gets their moment to do some singing and show off and show off their personality. Uh, I'm expecting it to be super well produced, and I'm expecting it to 
feature young men that 13 year old girls and young girl go crazy for so let's see how many things i get those right but i think i just won a whole lot of money big hit just like i thought yeah So very much the little intro of some random type of music, right? Like this is just a real simple, I don't know if that's a guitar or a harp or something, but so many hip hop songs start with just this little intro thing and there they are doing all their little dancing. with all lights silent shut yeah 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 uh so yes this is absolutely exactly what i thought it was going to be the music's fine does nothing for me uh it just is pop music that even if they want to talk about something serious like losing their passion for music this music does not communicate that this music is just a pop song of like it's just a pop song that's all, th I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't do anything for me. So the coolest thing about this song is that, and this group, honestly, is the fact that they're Korean and they've become popular here in the States and I think that's fantastic. Like that's what I think is cool because, uh, you know, uh, black and brown people here in America have created this new type of music back in the 70s. It's gotten to be hugely popular, it's popular all over the world, and now and now people in other parts of the world like Korea are reflecting that back to us which I think is amazing and cool and and really really neat I wish it weren't in this form I wish it weren't a boy band because we've seen the boy band thing a million times but if this serves as a way for these seven guys to break through and get popular and maybe eventually break off onto their own. Who knows, maybe they'll form a couple of different groups, maybe they'll do solo projects, things like that. And they can they can actually bring more of the Korean experience, the Korean culture to the awareness of America and everywhere else in the world, then that's a good thing. Um, I, I, I'm totally down for that. I'm not gonna harsh on them at all for 
speaking Korean in their own song. That's just ridiculous. And it, nor would I crap on them for celebrating Korean culture and, and things about Korea. And I'm sure the stuff that they talk about is so... I'm sure the stuff they talk about is important because it's not the sorts of things that are usually talked about in Korean music. I know nothing about Korean music. So I am making that assumption, but I assume it's because they're talking about their doubts and what they think about things and dealing with the world and trying to be individuals as opposed to going along with the crowd. That's the sort of thing that speaks to people, right? And and that is a universal thing. That's a, that's Those are issues that everybody has to deal with in their life. So I, I hope this is just like a foot in the door, and then they will do way more stuff and much more interesting stuff in the future, because that would be totally cool. I would love to see a group like this come out of any country in Africa, or, uh, oh God, that would just be absolutely amazing. And uh, we've already gotten things like from Europe and whatever. I mean, they were copying hip-hop or making hip-hop music back in the... In the 80s already, or at least even late 70s. So, yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm there for it. What an absolutely gorgeous um, theater that they recorded this in. Absolutely incredible. Really some weird lyrics. Um, in fact, that was one of them right there. My wandering feet held in a rut. Oh, okay, so that, that could actually make sense, like a rut in the road. Ocean with all lights silenced shut? I guess that's poetic. E, but even so, doesn't really say all that much. And a lot of ocean imagery in this. Um, it's good. It's fine. It's it's pop music. It doesn't speak to me because it it's not one person's or a handful of people's very small handful of people's thoughts being put forward. Um, this is music that was designed to be pop music. It was designed to be popular, <laughs> which is what pop music means. It was designed to appeal to a lot of people. Uh, they're all very pretty young men, and I'm sure that also is part of their appeal. It's just not great music. It's just good music. It's fine. There's that's it. That's all. I, that's. I mean, and that's probably true of everything that they have, according to me. It's only ever according to me. This is my feelings on this song, and I just. I think it needs more. There needs to be more there. There, and this didn't have it. Uh, I would listen to more by them, though. I mean, just like I, I was forced to listen to the Backstreet Boys and all that other pap back in the day, uh, and didn't care for it. Um, I would listen to more BTS and, and at least give them a chance to impress me, right? This didn't not impress me. It just, meh, it was fine. Oh, God, I'm so negative. I must be awesome. Um, really in a good mood. Ah, Pop Squat! Checking out! If you think BTS has an awesome song, let me know what it is, because I would love to hear that, and, and hopefully I... Think it's awesome too. 
uh, I think this song is only very average, considering probably how much time and money was put behind it, especially when compared with something like that song we did of Cujo the Savage standing in the street rapping uh, If I Were Conceited, or whatever the heck that song was called. Uh, that had way more oomph to it, more power. I mean, think about those singers that just put that energy into their voice. That's the sort of thing that's not ever going to be popular music, but that's the art of, of making really good, lasting music that speaks to people in a way that's real. Ooh, that was a lot to say. Talk to y'all later. Have a good week.